When we last spoke of stamp collecting, I showed some items focused solely on baseball personalities. But sports figures have become such an important part of our culture over the centuries, it only seems fitting to honor those who made an impact both on and off their field of play with postage stamps of their own. Our first example, issued in 1961, commemorates the 100 years since the birth of Dr. James Naismith, the inventor of basketball, who received his medical degree in 1898. He's a member of eight Hall of Fame classes. He spent nine seasons coaching the sport he invented and actually finished his career with a losing record. Babe Diedrichsen Zaharias won three medals in the 1932 Los Angeles Olympics, gold in hurdles and javelin, and a silver in the high jump. She was the first female golf star, winning over 40 LPGA tournaments. A member of four different Hall of Fames, a six-time Female Athlete of the Year, she's widely recognized as one of the greatest athletes of the 20th century, no matter gender. This stamp from 1981 celebrates her life. Also in 1981, another golf legend in Bobby Jones was memorialized, this 10 years following his death. His career in major tournaments is more than impressive, seven times winning as a pro and six times winner as an amateur. Jim Thorpe's 1984 stamp is a tribute to one of the greatest pure all-around athletes in history. A member of three Hall of Fames, he won two gold medals in the 1912 Stockholm Olympics. In 1988, 75 years after Francis we met of Brookline, Massachusetts won golf's U.S. Open as an amateur, he was given his own stamp. He never turned pro and won over 25 tournaments in a career that spanned three decades. His story was told in the 2005 dramatic film The Greatest Game Ever Played. He is one of the greatest football coaches in history, owning one of the most memorable names in all of sport. In 1988, the 100th anniversary of Newt Rockney's birth was celebrated with this stamp. He compiled an 86% career winning percentage, picking up three national championships along the way. In another film that played out the life of a sports figure, 1940's Newt Rockney All-American co-starred another famous name in Ronald Reagan. In 1990, the Postal Service honored five U.S. Olympians from the early 20th century games with a set that showed their name, sport, and years of competition. It includes Jesse Owens, Ray Uri, Hazel Whiteman, Eddie Egan, and Helene Madison. To honor the 55th anniversary of his prize fight rematch against Max Schmeling, the post office released this beautiful rendering of heavyweight boxing champion Joe Lewis in 1993. Schmeling handed the Brown Bomber his first professional loss in 25 matches in 1936. In the second fight, Lewis knocked out the former champ in the first round. Both fights occurred at Yankee Stadium. During 1997's NFL induction weekend in Canton, Ohio, a block of four different images showcasing some of the great minds in pigskin X's and O's were issued. Titled Legendary Football Coaches, it gave detailed renderings of Vince Lombardi, George Hallis, Bear Bryant, and Pop Warner. Not just winners, but historical teachers that paved the way to make the sport as revered as it is today. You're looking at 1,071 victories right here. As it were to be, Don Shula was inducted into the Hall of Fame that weekend, bringing a record 347 wins to the table himself. The new millennial was all the craze during the late 1990s, and the philatelic industry was no different. Between 1998 and 2000, several stamp panels were released showcasing events and personalities grouped by decade that created a fabric of our country, many of which were centered around sports. In the first set, highlighting the 1900s, an unidentified player helps mark the very first World Series in 1903. The 1910 panel includes another stamp of Jim Thorpe, as well as heavyweight boxing champ Jack Dempsey. In the 1920s, no athlete was larger nor larger than life than Babe Ruth. He's actually still talked about today. In the timeline of our universe, somewhere between the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and the Four Horsemen of Professional Wrestling, there were the Four Horsemen of Notre Dame's football team. Under Coach Rockney, who was mentioned earlier, they went 28-2 while playing together. In the 1930s sheet, we again celebrate golfer Bobby Jones, as well as four-time Olympic gold medalist Jesse Owens. The 1940s was the decade that the name Jackie Robinson became ingrained in our conscious. The 1950s was the time of Bobby Thompson's shot heard around the world, 
and undefeated heavyweight boxing champion Rocky Marciano. The 1960s saw Roger Maris break baseball's single-season home run record, the dominance of Vince Lombardi's Packers football team, and the AFL-NFL Championship, later known as the first-ever Super Bowl, won by the Packers. In the 1970s, Monday Night Football gave us all an excuse to enjoy the beginning of a new work week. Secretariat became the first Triple Crown winner in 25 years, and the Pittsburgh Steelers ended the decade with four Super Bowl wins within six years. We end the celebration with the San Francisco 49ers capturing four Super Bowls in the decade of the 80s, the stretch of baseball records broken in the mid-1990s, and the 30th year of the Special Olympic Games. Moving on to 2003, a new set of four images entitled Early Football Heroes showcase Ernie Nevers, Red Grange, Bronco Nagurski, and Walter Camp, all names that brought prominence to the sport during its genesis. Wilma Rudolph was once the fastest woman in the world, the first female to capture three gold medals at the same Olympic event. A member of five Hall of Fame classes, she also added a bronze medal to her trophy case. This 2003 release honors her contribution to the sport. 30 years after his 1975 Wimbledon title, Arthur Ashe was given a stamp of his very own. The first black man to win at the All England Club, he was more than just that. He won 66 singles titles, 18 doubles titles, and was a part of four Davis Cup team champions. Thanks to his tireless work educating the public about HIV and AIDS, his legacy on and off the court will live forever. Sugar Ray Robinson won six boxing championships in two weight classes. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, he went 85-0 as an amateur. In his 26 years fighting as a pro, he recorded 173 wins in 202 fights, including a mind-blowing 91 in a row. This issue from 2006 is reminiscent of a poster advertising local fight cards. In 1981, Rube Foster was inducted into Baseball's Hall of Fame. In 2010, this unique two-picture scene featuring the manager was released. A pioneer as coach and executive, he also pitched for parts of nine seasons in the Negro Leagues. The in-game action shot on the left is a separate stamp, but completes the grand vision Foster had for black athletes of the time. 2011 marked the 100th anniversary of the first Indianapolis 500 race. Ray Haroon was the winner, though he was much more rooted in the mechanical side of the sport. He helped develop an item we might take for granted today, the rearview mirror. His yellow Mormon wasp is shown in this stamp honoring the victory. His average speed to win the race, 74 miles an hour. She broke color barriers by becoming the first black athlete to win a Grand Slam tennis title. 54 Grand Slam match victories, resulting in 10 more titles followed, and she was ranked the number one player in the world in 1957. Ten years following her death, this stamp honors Althea Gibson and her long-lasting impact to the game and its future stars. I can just say the name Wilt, and you'll immediately know who I'm talking about. A four-time NBA MVP, two-time champion, and ranked seventh all-time in points scored, Mr. Chamberlain's number 13 is retired by four different teams. Coincidentally, he was named to 13 All-Star teams. He scored 100 points in a single game and averaged 50 points a game for an entire season. This pair of stamps from 2014 shows him in grand fashion as both a 76er and Laker. One lengthy adhesive showing him rebounding, the other scoring. The tall lettering adds to the spectacle of his larger-than-life presence and personality. In the next video, which will discuss the merge between sports and stamp collecting, we'll dive into the history of the Post Office and Olympic Games, which previewed and advertised the USA teams, an effort that did not go without controversy.